לבוב Uh, sure. Elder Madavi, would you open us up in prayer, please? Sure. Um, can you all hear me? Ingeta. All right. Uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, somebody needs to mute their mic. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, let us pray, everybody. Oh, Tatan Zambi, we give you thanks and we give you praise for gathering us together again. We thank you for watching over us and we pray and ask that you watch over those who are still making their way in so that we can fellowship with them and learn from one another more about your ways and who you are. Tatan Zambi, we invite your wonder in our midst so that Wanda Velala can teach us and lead us into all truths, individually as well as collectively, as your, no, as your chosen nation, Isolele. That's in Zambi, we pray that you use your teachers and your preachers this day as vessels through which you'll give us your word, you'll give us your guidance, you'll be that light that shines on our path. But in Zambi, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. If there be anything that would cause you not to hear our cries to you today, please forgive us. Please forgive us, Tatan Zambi. We are joyful and we are gracious and we are thankful for all this awakening that you're causing amongst us and even outside of us. And we do not take it for granted for all the victories that you give us, big or small, because only you know the impact that those victories will have. We ask that you give us strength, you give us courage, you give us persistence and perseverance, because we are being persecuted every day. We are being called names, we are being told so many things, but we know deep in our spirits that it is you and the Manda Velila who is guiding us to all truths and is asking us to stay firm on this path. Because we know you have told us you will never leave us nor forsake us. That in Zambi, be in our midst, lead us, show us the way. Pray all these things trusting in Kuso Kongo's name and we invite you in our presence. Ngeta. Yeah. Okay, to some, are you ready? Yes, I am. Can you all see the presentation, family? Yes. Tonda Massac. Luvu Vamung. Yala. 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 Bananzam, Luvu Vamung. Yala. Yala. Yes, Voka, yes, 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 Away, Una Cambote, 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 Monompe, Yetompe, Tuna Cambote, Munazola, Quanzam, Vieto, Atonda Massacre family.
First of all, we give honors and candor to our mighty Zambi for giving us this amazing privilege to be once again here as your servant to serve you. This is our mission family to serve you. Tondo Masaka Mama Matsola, Maroya, Margaret, Brother David that has been here almost uh, 45 minutes. He has joined very early. Tondo Masaka for your patience. Elder Mutave for helping us to record. Brother Naibu, Masheli, Brother Mahmoud, even though he's working, but he said, no, let me go there and be with my family. Elder Patrick and Sister Kess, and those who uh, find us by the Zoom will be going on. So before we start, we have just a very quick announcement, family. I want to thank as you can see, it's not, his face is not here, his name is not on, on the participant list. So he's busy with some school activities, that's why he won't be able to join us today, but to send a lot of greetings to everybody. <laughs> so family, as you can see today, we'll be speaking about uh, something very powerful again. It's not from us. As we spoke about last Sunday, it was, to, uh, does anybody still remembering the topic of last Sunday? What is the topic? <laughs> Sorry, Mama, I cannot hear you. The secret of spiritual form. Wow, that's amazing. Somebody's still uh, living in there. Okay, so that indeed was the topic, the secret of a spiritual death. And today we will continue with the same spiritual message. Uh, this message is not from me, but came straight from a bar family, from Zambe and Pungu to land. So in these three couple of weeks ago, until this week's week, every message that we are sharing to you came in, was delivered in the third on the sorry, I made the mistake there. It was on the 22nd uh, March 2023. That was the date that this message was delivered, but we decided to break it down, to separate it, and to share with you all because it wasn't only for us, but it was for all of us as a family. So today we will be speaking about the planet of Christ more deeply about the fight against the power of darkness. I think those who were present um, in, in the last first day prayer, we saw that the fight is real and Kade Pemba is still uh, attacking. And one of the weapons that he uses is to destroy and bring us many worries for us not have peace. So now we're gonna talk about it, the fight against power of darkness, the planet of Christ. Mama Matuzola, can you help me please? And uh, as a, again, our Zoom, as we saw last Sunday, we would like to to start writing our own uh, document. So please, uh, have your, your notebook, your pen for you to write down. And we would like that everybody who is here present, please at least to give us one lesson learned. And then we, we're gonna compile it, put it all together for us to share it for those who are not here, especially to our future generation. Yes, Mama Matsu. Okay. You are on mute, sorry. We cannot hear you. Okay, okay. All right. 
Point number one, that is what they say. There are people who want to discover the power of darkness. The planet of Christ is separated from darkness. That is why the father has said, I took my children and not all of them are in the territory of darkness. My true children are with me. This is not the darkness of the night, said the Mwanda. It is a darkness where Satan has the power to do everything and to stop prayers. He has the power to stop prayers. Daniel 10, 11 through 13. I cannot feel your family. Uh, it is always good when we come and, and participate family. Let's not make your little son just be here alone, but let's do it together. So as you heard there in our first point, family, Nzambi was proving to us that exists two worlds, two worlds. The one that's for Nzambi Christ and the one that is Kajam Pemba who controls it. So in these two the territory family, they have, there is a king, there is a ruler. And they, there is also people under this the territory. We, I believe all of us here, yeah, <laughs> and those who are watching us, we belong to what family? I cannot hear you. We belong family. to Nzambi. We belong to Nzambi Kingdom, Nzambi Territory. But Kajam Pemba has also his own territory. The darkness that we're speaking Speaking about family is not the one you see when your light is off. You cannot see anything. But it's that dark presence of Kajam Pemba is the mighty power of the, how they call it is the power of Kajam Pemba who is able to control, destroy, kill, even to stop our prayers. But Nzambi is very good family that he has separated, he has put us in his territory. Those who are truly from Nzambi and Pungu to Lendo, Nzambi has chosen, has called them, and then has, has covered them to put them aside, not to be under the power of Kadia Pemba. We will see. I would like to ask um, anyone available. Please, family, let's participate. Anyone available to read for us Daniel chapter 10 from verse 11 to 13. We will see that most of the prayers that we make, Kajam Pemba can stop it to reach the Tatan Zambe, or the prayer can reach the Tatan Zambe. When Zambu will send the angels to give you the answer, Kajam Pemba will block it. So that's why the topic is the fight against the power of darkness. Luvu Vamun. Yala. Yala. Is there anybody with Daniel? Please, please, family. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Daniel 10, 11. 13. Yes. Yes. Thank you a lot, Mama Margaret. Let's go. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee am um, I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thing, thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy zombie. 
Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief for princes, how many days, came Mama, to, Margaret? For how many days? Twenty, twenty days. Twenty-one days. Okay. Oh, one and twenty days, sorry. <laughs> one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. King, Kajam Pemba, in his dark power, he has the ability family to stop some of our prayers. So now imagine if you are praying in flesh, <laughs> your prayer will not even reach Zambian Pungo to land. Daniel was praying in the spirit since the first moment that he, he had the desire to know the truth, Zambia has heard this prayer. But when Gabriel came to deliver it, he has, was caught in that territory of Kadian Pemba family. <laughs> For him not to deliver the, the masses. Manzamba is very powerful family. They knew he had to wait 21 days. On those 21 days, family, there was a war. That's, that's why our topic is the fight. They were fighting for Daniel to get the masses. That's why the Mwanda Vela said, it is, it is the darkness where Satan has the power to stop everything and the prayers. Banzambe is more powerful than Kajampemba, that Michael Angel, he came and allowed Daniel to receive what he was praying for. A secret here. If one of your prayers you that you prayed and you're not getting the answer, maybe because Kajan Pemba is done, is came in between <laughs> to stop you achieving what you have prayed for because of the spiritual battle so that goes. On the Vuva Moon, yeah. So, but how how can we be able to receive and fight against the power of darkness against Kajampemba? Point number two, please, Mama Matuzo. <laughs> You're still on mute, sorry. <laughs> Can you please mute your mic? It is necessary that the person hold up tightly to the word to separate from the planet of darkness because Christ really separated. Ephesians 6. 16 to 17. Christ has his heavenly territory where he has his children and those who are inside a fence. You can get them. You can go to the first one, please. So, do, so those who go to consult false gods, the small gods, after these consultations, there that they they do darkness covers them darkness even covers a house you see family what is dangerous in there last sunday we actually spoke a little bit about that it is dangerous when you go when we go and consult such as house family the world is spiritual if we mix with spiritual things without knowing, 
we may even kill ourselves, our family, our entire regeneration. Mwanda Velela is still repeating over and over. Isolele, don't consult false prophets, false gods, so they will just lead you to this this destruction. So when you go to such a house, Kajampemba will cover you without you knowing it. We make you spiritually blind for you not to see. And we'll take the wonder Velala from you for you not to sense Nzambe's presence anymore. So by doing that, many people, they even put their families in danger as well. Because when you go and you come out, dark presence starts following you wherever you go. You see? in your work, in your house, anyway. We are begging you, the Mwanda Velela is asking and praying and, and still speaking until now. Solele, let's leave these kind of houses. So, but for us to win, for us to win this battle, we need to do what point number two is saying, family. It is necessary that we all tightly, family, in the world of Zambe and Pungo, to land. For us to be one, Moshi, with Tata, Zambe. Because the word in Ephesians, I'm going to read it quickly, chapter 6, as you can see, verse 16, it says, In addition to all of this, all that, the shield of faith to stop fairy areas of the devil put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit which is the word of zambi they say you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free this freedom that the bible mentioned family is not only material freedom, but that is a spiritual freedom as well for you to be free from Kadia Pemba, for you to be bold. When it comes, you are free and you are able to fight back in the spirit. You see, family, but we need to be Moshi with Tata Zam.